Going to Disney in 2022 is definitely different than it has been in the past. And in today's video, we're going to go over those tips you need to know if you're thinking about a Disney trip in 2022. There are a lot of new things you got to know, different apps you got to be ready for. Let's go over them today. First, and probably most importantly, you're going to need a park reservation at Walt Disney World. Period. Paragraph. There is no way around it. And trying to get it on the day of is, let's just call it bad. Bad idea. You don't want to do that. You want to get your park reservation as early as possible to ensure that you're able to get into the parks that you want on the days that you're there. Sometimes we've heard of stories of guests who didn't get park reservations and then they were all gone by the time they made it to Walt Disney World. Now, park reservation, you can find more information in the Disney website. I'm going to link it in the description of this video along with some other information you're going to need for that park reservation, but make sure you book it for yourself and everyone in your party prior to your Walt Disney World trip and as early as possible because they do sell out. The second tip, and this is equally important, make sure you download the My Disney Experience app. Why do you need this? Well, you're gonna need it for basically everything else you need around Walt Disney World. If you don't have a smartphone, I actually would recommend getting one for this. It seems odd that you really, really, really need a smartphone, but it, it basically does everything you need at Walt Disney World. It is your go-to device for everything, from food to merchandise, everything. You're going to need it. I, most people have them nowadays, thankfully, but download the My Disney Experience app, put your information in there, get it all set up prior to coming to Disney. On that same note, bring a charger with you for your phone, whether it's just plugging into the wall of your resort if you have a longer battery or a mobile battery that you can take around the parks with you. It's something that I just recommend. It's not really just 2022 specific tip. It's just all around tip. You're going to be using your phone a lot, so you may want to have that extra battery. Next up, get familiar with Genie Plus at Walt Disney World. Unfortunately, and and you know I'm not a huge fan of it. Genie Plus and Lightning Lane are here for a little while. I do hope that it kind of evolves in the future, and I don't really think it's sustainable. However, the Genie Plus Lightning Lane combo is here right now. So understanding whether or not you want it on your Walt Disney World trip is very important. Many guests kind of make the assumption that they need it. I've been speaking to a lot of first-timer guests recently as I've been walking through the park, and many of them just assumed that they had to buy it in order to go on the rides. And it's an assumption that many people are making. You don't necessarily need it, you don't, but I can understand why some guests who travel from very far away, who don't come very frequently, may want to purchase Genie Plus at least right now. Lightning Lane also become familiar with that as well. Do you want to purchase it on the day that you want to go on that ride? And if you do, make sure you understand that you have to get it first thing in the morning or whenever it's available to you. The reason for that is because they actually sell out. Genie Plus is you know available throughout the day, even though it kind of goes you know further and further away from your time as you go through the day. You have to keep pushing those attractions out further. But Lightning Lane has a tendency to sell out very early. Rise of the Resistance is a good example. If you try and just book a Lightning Lane for Rise of the Resistance at like noon, it's more often than not, you're not going to be able to get it at all because they're all gone at that point. So earlier the better and make sure you fully understand when you can book Genie Plus and Lightning Lane. Next tip, and this is very important, especially because it's a recent change, you got to arrange some form of transportation from Orlando International to Walt Disney World and back again. Many guests have been using Uber and Lyft and taxis and Mears transportation. There are options available, but Magical Express is no longer there. And I cannot tell you how many guests I've spoken to who've just been confused when they get to the airport and said, okay, so now what, right? And yes, you do have those ride services available to you, but try and arrange that in advance. It'll probably save you some money and some headache when you get to the Orlando International Airport. Next up, I would do a little bit of research about when rides will be down and scheduled to be down and when new rides are opening. This is really important because many guests will plan their trips around these new attractions. And even though something like Guardians of the Galaxy opens up and then there are, you know, a virtual queue for it, many guests will try and be there for the very beginning when it starts to open. So if you want to avoid that time, make sure you schedule that in a different way, right? So just look at all the dates, refurbishment dates, all that. It's all available online. You can just find it, but make sure you're familiar with, if you really want to go on Expedition Everest, make sure it's open when you are there, just as an example. Next up, become familiar with the mobile order and pay function in the My Disney Experience app. Why is this? Well, it's going to save you a lot of time and aggravation when you are at Walt Disney World. It's true that you don't necessarily need to use it, 
but there are many restaurants that strongly encourage it. Like you got one register and the line is super long, and if you had ordered in advance, you'd be able to save yourself some time. I'm gonna go over just really quickly. In the app, you can go through mobile order from a restaurant. You can look through the menu as you're in line for an attraction. Let's pretend you're on Haunted Mansion and you wanna to go to Columbia Harbor House right after, okay? You look through the menu while you're in line. You can start putting the order together, get it prepared, click through. You can even pay for it before you click, I'm here, prepare my order. You can do all of this. Like the whole family can take their time to decide, okay, do I want the lobster roll or do I want the shrimp or the salmon? Take your time, figure it out. Put it on the menu. You don't have to kind of make decisions while you're standing at the register. You can do that in line. It's going to save you a ton of time and aggravation. I really, really recommend using this. You can also import your credit card information into the app and just kind of save it in there if you want to. It's optional so that you ha always have it in there. It makes the whole process a lot easier. Make sure you also pay attention to when it says you can go and pick up your order. Sometimes it'll be like, you know, in 30 minutes. So try and prepare that just a little bit in advance. It depends on the crowds on that specific day. Another important tip is to research where you want to eat in advance of your Walt Disney World trip. A lot of restaurants have changed in recent months since all the changes have happened all around Walt Disney World. And understanding what's on the menu now, if you have like a favorite and it's really changed a lot, do that research in advance so you're not disappointed and have to pay that, you know, the, the fee for the food that really isn't your favorite. Do the homework, figure out what really has that amazing food around Walt Disney World for you. And everyone's got a different taste. Everyone has a different palate of what they like. So understanding what has changed, what you like, what you think you're going to like is going to help you a lot before you make those dining reservations. In addition to that, make sure you do book those dining reservations as far out as possible. It's true, it's becoming easier and easier by the months here to book these reservations at the different restaurants because crowd levels are starting to go down because of some changes that have been happening, spring break, you know, summer, all that. These things are happening, so you can book a little bit later, but I still recommend book as far in advance as possible. Now, along with the 2022 specific tips, I really recommend all the standard recommendations for a Walt Disney World trip, like don't wear brand new shoes, bring appropriate clothing, prepare for weird weather, like rain all of a sudden, and then 95 degrees the next moment. It's really interesting how that happens. Those kind of tips always still apply, but for 2022, those are the tips that I really recommend highlighting when you're thinking about that trip. If you have an additional tip, Tip to add to this list, please let us know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today, and until next time, have a magical day.